Cyber Monday is here with shoppers scouring the internet for the best deals. The National Retail Federation predicts roughly 63 million people will shop online today after millions hit the malls on Black Friday. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophers is here with a look at the trends so far. So Alexis, what do these early numbers tell you? What can we expect from Cyber Monday? I was actually a little surprised at how much people were shopping all over the weekend. I mean, we're dealing with high inflation. We keep talking about it. We're paying more for just about everything. But more than 60 percent of Americans did say that the economy is still going to impact their holiday shopping plans. Still, we saw in-person visits to the stores up 3% this Black Friday versus last year. I was one of them. I went to a mall in upstate New York. And, you know, I didn't see a lot of people doing a lot of shopping, although it was more crowded. I think they were doing what I call social shopping. They were sort of out there looking at things, turning it into an outing. They were going out to dinner. R restaurant sales were actually up pretty big this past weekend. Um, but when they decided to shop, they did it online. You see right there, online sales hitting a record high on Black Friday, up uh, to $9.12 billion. Today, we're expecting it to be even better. Sales could top $11.2 billion. If they do, that would be a record. Now, what are some of the early top sellers? Are you seeing any trends in terms of what people are buying? Yes, it's electronics, 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 anything Apple, Apple Watch, Apple MacBook. Also, we found out today that a lot of the Apple iPhones, you're going to have a hard time getting them because of the uh, COVID lockdowns right now in China and because of the protests going on. Um, there are supply chain issues, so people are trying to buy those early. Drones are really popular. Uh, Gaming is popular, the Xbox, the uh, FIFA 23 game, I guess, with um, the World Cup out now, that's sort of top of mind. Um, where are you seeing some of the biggest discounts? Uh, consumer electronics, again, especially computers. I think we're doing so many things on our mobile phones. They're really discounting those computers. Toys heavily discounted and clothing. I saw clothing up to 60% off and in some stores, buy one, get two free. I had to check that sign a couple of times, but that was that was for real. Also, some of the items we couldn't find during the height of the pandemic, like the paddle boards, fire pits, kayaks, all that outdoor stuff, mm -hmm. the retailers are stuck with it, so they're trying to move it out of the stores. All right, we'll take that. Um, online scales on uh, scams, I should say, unfortunately, yep. are also at an all-time high at this time of year. Mm -hmm and this year particularly. So how do we protect ourselves when we're shopping online? Great question, important question. So many of us are on social media, so you wanna be really suspicious of any social media ads and email ads. That's a gold mine for these scammers. Make sure that you're dealing with a legitimate retailer. If, if the deal seems to be too good to be true, that's because it probably is. Uh, we also have a lot of, this time around, a lot of them are coming out with these fake emails saying your credit card transaction failed. Uh, you ne now need to pay us via Venmo or PayPal. That is not a legitimate. Look for misspellings um, in the website address. That is also a sign that it's a fake. And if you are asked to create an account or check out as a guest, check out as a guest if possible. It's not a scam, but you don't want to keep your personal information on the server of a retailer. Mm, good advice. Alexis Christophers, thank you. You bet. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.